Canelo versus Kavya Plan. Stormy, to add to this, um, this was according to Buddy McGirt by design. The, you know, utilizing the jab and um, kind of sticking and moving, apparently. Um, what are your thoughts on the game plan? And and do you think Kovalev followed it the way he should have? The only thing that Kovalev followed was the lead from the Canelo camp that he wasn't going to win this fight. He had no intention of winning. He didn't perform like he wanted to win. He gave an absolute non-performance, the same performance that Alita Alvarez gave to him in their rematch. I define boxing by what I see. And what I saw was a non-effort. A man who came to lay down and give his title up and to ensure that he did fulfill what the deal was, he allowed himself to get knocked out. And when I say allowed himself to get knocked out, who the hell has Canelo knocked out in the past five or six years? Facing quality opposition. And this man is quality opposition. So when he walks out there and you see on the jumbotron above the stadium and everything that they're saying that Canelo has become the, the first fighter since Henry Armstrong to win four titles at the same time in, in, in the divisions that he's fought at and all of that, they had pronounced that before he even entered the ring. It was during his ring walk that they showed this graphic. Okay. I saw that as we were watching it live. I was on with Brooklyn and, and Tyrone Smith and uh, we, we, we were watching this and I was like, I thought to myself and I've seen some people talk about it today on their videos and things like that, but I'm not saying it because I heard them say it. I saw this myself. And I said to the guys as we were all watching and we were talking, I was like, do you see this? Then I saw the referee, how he was handling the match. He was admonishing Kovalev for everything. Uh, Canelo for nothing. And Canelo was walking after him as if there was nothing to fear. And he was putting a jab out as if he was sparring with a lighter guy, like possibly like Benavidez was doing when he was working with Sean Porter because some people had questioned that and they said well Benavidez is so big, so much bigger than Porter he, he probably beating Porter up in there he didn't go in there to beat up Porter he went in there to give Porter some work to prepare for Earl Spence well in this fight you saw that type of performance from the gym in the ring Kovalev threw no damaging punches he threw no punches with mean intentions he had absolutely no reason to be backing away from a guy who was smaller than him, okay? And people talk about the rehydration and all of that. He's fought at light, light heavyweight for years. So whether he totally rehydrated up to what was the norm and all that, that wasn't enough to affect him. He barely had any mark on his face in the fight, which means that Canelo wasn't landing a lot of shots on him. Then all of a sudden in the 11th round, He's going to hit him with something and make him do the stanky leg. And after doing the stanky leg, he didn't put his hands up to guard and protect himself. He put his hands down. And he fucking let the guy hit him on the chin. And he went down in a heap. Okay? He ain't gone down in a heap against anybody except for Alito Alvarez because Alito Alvarez put him with a two-piece on his ass. Real punches. Okay? I've watched boxing all my life. This was bullshit. Sorry to be swearing on your channel, but I'm just telling it like it is. This was not a contested match. This was a match that was made to make this man have some type of legacy that they're pushing him toward. It was a farce as far as I'm concerned. I don't respect him. I don't respect Kovalev. Never respected Kovalev outside of being a boxer. But since I saw this side of him, and understand what's coming down the line for him, he's a sellout. Okay? All right. All right. Well, we're going to get to all, all that in a little bit because I have thoughts on that. We have a disagreement, but we'll get there. You defeat him by putting him in there with somebody who ain't over 30 years old. All right. Check it out. All right. Let me talk about the actual fight itself. So this is what I saw. All right. Was Kovalev a little tentative? A little would be an understatement. 
Okay. He was throwing a get off me jab. It was winning him the rounds. I heard Buddy McGirt tell him several times to keep doing the same thing. Right. That that's what I saw. All right. Now, did he fight a little bitch? Yes, he did. All right. Kovalev did not like he was fighting like he was scared of getting knocked out. All right. And he tried something. He tried to use his size and grab Canelo. Canelo didn't let him. All right. I also think he, he was getting countered upstairs a lot. All right. What I don't agree with is that somehow there was a fix to for Kovalev to throw this fight. I just got to be honest. All right. Um, if I don't agree, Stormy, that he let himself get knocked out. You know, like he, he got hit with a hook, okay, that hit him like on the side of the neck, okay, and, and a jawline. And unless Kovalev is like an Oscar, you know, worthy, you know, you know, actor or some, I just think I think it's a little bit of a stretch. And then he got clipped with a with a hell of a right hand that came from over here. It's not like Canelo wasn't throwing it like from from his shoulder, you know what I mean? And to me, that first of all, before he got hit with the right hand, you could see the eyes of Kovalev on the back of his head, all right? And then he was stumbling back, and his hands were down because he doesn't he didn't know where the hell he was. And then he got knocked out. Okay, this man went neck and neck with Andre Ward in their first fight. And if you saw Ward's fight face after the fight, Ward had been touched up. He had been touched up by Kovalev. That jab, that right hand, the right hand even put Ward on his ass in the first two rounds, I think, two three rounds. And Ward had to reassess things. Ward was in there trying to be his normal self, but had to turn to a different type of tactic to be able to make it to the final bell against Kovalev. Kovalev is a killer. He has killed a man in the ring. Okay. Kovalev has put people on their ass concussed. Okay. He is not a nice guy in real life. So in the ring where he could put his hands on people, he relished that. Okay. Now, in this fight, none of that was apparent. None of it. He didn't even try. When the bell rang for the first round and they stepped out to the center of the ring, he took a step backwards. Yeah, but here's I'm telling you, I've been sorry. watching boxing. I know the difference between a non-effort and an effort. Okay, this but was a non-effort okay, performance if, by him. And when you was... say, no, D Style, I'm gonna say this. When ahead, you say right. What what you don't understand why a guy would drop his hands and let himself get knocked out? Try twelve million dollars, and what you don't know that's under the table because the man by the end of this month is going before the court system. They don't know how that's going to turn out. Yeah, but dude, he got a nice. I hear you. I, I hear you. I hear that you. That he can pay to keep himself out of the arms of the law. Or if he happens to go away okay. for any type of stint, his family you. will be taken care of. Look, okay, I get. And what he you're has saying. a list of circumstances that they've been holding from public. Okay, so when Kathy Duva said, "Win or lose, we're happy," you don't understand what she's talking about. But I understand what she's talking about because I know people, and I I've seen this type of thing happen before. Boxing is not always what it appears to be to the masses, okay? In a non-effort, I watched Cliff Etienne fight Mike Tyson, hit him with a glancing right hand, and when he was going down to the canvas, Etienne was taking his mouthpiece out at the same time as he laid there and took a count. The same guy who went life and death on Boxing After Dark against a couple of other heavyweights. He didn't even try to get up against Mike. He took the count, got up, and they were hugging and everything. I watched Bruce Seldon go down from Mike Tyson with a punch that didn't mit that didn't hit him. It sailed over the top of his head, and he flopped like he had fell off a ladder. And then when the ref was counting, he stood over in the corner and buckled his legs to make sure that the ref would stop the fight. Evander Holyfield, who was interviewed for the next fight, he was standing ringside. When they talked to him in the ring, he said it looked like the punch didn't land. And they said, it did look like it landed, Holy? He said, no, it looked like it didn't. I said it didn't. 
He's sitting ringside. Professional fighting. I got you. Okay, my, my turn to talk, bro. All right, look, check it out, okay? I, I, I respect what you're saying, bro. I just strongly disagree. Those are, you're, you're throwing out assertions, bro. Like, the, the fact that Kovalev has problems outside of the ring doesn't equal, well, that's definitely evidence that the fight was fixed, right? There could be a strong suspicion, but we can't prove that that's what happened, bro. There's no way to know that. And not only that, all those examples you gave me, the punches didn't land, dude. Tyson didn't land that punch. That's what throwing a fight looks like. Like, you could tell when a dude throws a fight. This guy got clipped. He got wobbled. Then he got hit with a right hand. And he didn't even anticipate the punch. I just look. I get the fact that there's suspicion out there. I get the fact that Kovalev fought a stupid fight. And, yes, I agree that Kovalev's effort was atrocious. All right? But, but he was winning the fight. You know what I mean? Like, he was following the orders of Buddy McGurdon there. And then he got he got hit. Now, an assertion is also, well, he hasn't knocked anybody out lately, so therefore it means that this one must be fake. Th that's just not – look, okay? Marquez – You don't go, you don't Marquez, go from wider weights not knocking people out to okay. higher weights Marquez knocking people out. Marquez hadn't knocked the dude right, out with one time. punch, bro. Marquez had – when had Marquez knocked dudes out with one punch, dude? And all of a sudden, he knocks out Manny Pacquiao, who wasn't knocked out by Margarito, wasn't knocked out by Cotto. He wasn't knocked out by much bigger men. It doesn't quite always work that way. If a punch hits you right in the money, you're going out. Like, it's just that's just it. He got hit with a hell of a right hand. And, and I'm telling you, you could look at that same right. There's also footage of him landing that on Triple G. Now, Triple G, I think, proved he had a better chin than Kovalev because he took that punch as well. The only difference, he wasn't wobbly when that punch landed. I just don't believe that these two dudes, like, like honestly, like, were in the ring and, and talking about this. And, oh, hey, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit you with the right. Make sure you get wobbly. Make sure your per picture perfect for me to hit that right hand. You could suspect that, but there's no proof of that. All I'm hearing are assertions, bro. And, and I don't just mean you. I mean all over social media. Okay, these are strong assertions, all right? And not only that. I agree that the comparisons to Armstrong are, are far and stupid and it shouldn't be a thing. So, so like, I get that they're kind of the, trying to shove this dude down people's throats. I get that he's a diva. I get that there's always these little things that are annoying about Canelo, but we can't just throw out there that, that this fight was thrown. Like, it's to me, it's a stretch. All right. He doesn't knock people like, out, bro. Let, let me, let me, let me get my point. Yeah, no. Well, look, Marquez didn't knock out Alvarado, bro, when he knocked out Pacquiao, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't always work that way. Here's what I can say real quickly, D-Style. I mean, I get, your, right. I, I get your comparison with the Marquez Pacquiao knockout about how he hadn't been knocking out guys. I think the difference here with most people is this, man. When you watch all four of those fights, Marquez versus Pacquiao, especially that last one was probably the best and the most – I guess the the war out of all of them. You could see Marquez was landing huge, huge right hands on Pacquiao, huge shots that would normally knock dudes out. I think that's the difference here because we didn't see Canelo land really nothing hard in this fight, nothing that really shook up Kovalev either to the body or to the head. That's 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 the what that's bro, from my perspective. You know what I'm saying? Dude, At least you just see Pacquiao it. wearing down a little bit. All Canelo threw were power punches, bro. What do you mean? And let me let me no, get no, my no, take. No. What I'm saying is, my oh, real quick, Rachel. What I'm saying is that I understand he was throwing power shots, but the difference is Marquez was landing his shit clean and knocking Pacquiao's head back like a damn Pez dispenser. We didn't see that with Kovalev until the knockout. That's that's what that's what I'm gonna say. There was some yeah, other. Yeah. Landed, let, me, let me let me let me get my right. take. Oh, go ahead, Rich. Yeah, with, with with this one, this is where the fix comes in. This is where the dive comes in. All that. Yeah, the shot was a clean shot, but Kovalev put himself in position to get hit with this punch to to get out this fight. Now, what what we got to look at is. One of the most disturbing things going into this fight wasn't how quick the turnaround for Kovalev going back into this fight. It wasn't even the, the hydration clause thing. It's the deal put on the table for Kovalev. Now, the deal put on the table for losing was greater than the deal put on the table for this guy winning. 
that's an incentive to throw a fight. Now, going in here, you didn't see this Kovalev. Kovalev wasn't shot in this fight. Kovalev relaxed on these punches, tapping this guy. And when he hit Kovalev, uh, Canelo too hard with a punch, he pulled back on it. Because there's one, it, there's many instances in this fight when he hit Canelo in between uh, uh, Canelo throwing a power shot and he hit Canelo with a shot, snapping Canelo's neck. Going forward from that, he began to pull back on that. Then it's a sequence in, I believe it's the fifth or sixth round, where he's sitting up there trying to measure Canelo, whipping out the jab. Canelo's in his high guard, body fully exposed. Kovalev's down just like Buddy wanted him, but he's not shooting for the, he's not shooting not once to the body. He shoots right at this guard. And then we go into the eighth round when he hurts Canelo. Canelo's retreating around the ring. We watch Kovalev try, go in pursuit because he had to, because we watched in this ish. Ain't no way, and, and it's almost foolish. Like, we watching what the hell y'all doing in here. And, and he goes to pursue him, but he doesn't go in there to try to finish this dude off because he knew what was on the line. He was winning on the scorecards by a wide margin, and he found this moment, even the sequence before this punch landed. Here's Kovalev throwing off these ridiculous shots, almost as bad as uh, Swartz against um, – against Tyson Fury, just throwing off these wild uh, uh, straight shots that aren't hitting anything. Kovalev's, I mean, Canelo's already squatted down, but here's Kovalev throwing the punches from shoulder, from uh, uh, from from a straight up shoulder uh, uh, height, way up under this dude, leaving himself open. And then to get hit with that right shot, I don't see how it knocked him off, but saying it did. But then just like what Storm B was saying, why aren't your hands going up to protect yourself? <clears throat> Yeah, it could be wobble, but the incentive for losing this fight was greater. I've never seen a deal put on the table like that. Uh, um, it, it, it will make any fighter throw a, throw a fight. When a deal is put on the table like that for you, for if you lose a fight, your deal is better than you win in the fight. Now, that's the most ridiculous ish I've ever seen in the sport of boxing. Now, going forward, so give all props to Canelo. He's the winner. Now, where does Canelo go forward from, the, from here? Oh, wait, 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 Go ahead. Now, you guys are giving him props. You're, you're saying that it was all a farce and this guy's a total fake. That's what you're saying. And I'm not well, the he's biggest. A, he's fan. a victor. He oh, got to props. I never, I never said it was fixed for the I record. Mean, I'm just well, saying that with the market I mean, comparison. There's some that's strong wrong. insinuation. Okay. No, 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 no. The insinuation. Wait, 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 I got wait. no problem saying I it never was said fixed. it was fixed. Damn fight was fixed. <laughs> I I never said it was fixed. Like you, you guys are saying. I don't believe it's fixed. Okay, you didn't say it was fixed. You just said. Like, like he, that. He took a dive. He took a dive. No, what I'm saying is, is it I'm possible is, that he took a dive. The fight was fixed because they had announced that Kovalev had lost when when they were doing the ring walk and on the billboard. It was already anointing Canelo for being the champ. They had advertised it already. And the funny thing about it, I don't think that was supposed to happen like that. You know when they show the films of guys, the highlight reels or whatever, somebody might have pushed the wrong button yeah, and but showed that graphic up there that declared him the winner already. He was, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was a favorite to the fight, bro. They have they have T-shirts ready for the Super Bowl champions for both teams before the game starts. Okay, like that's just that's what they do. The, yes, that the, they have stuff ready for you know for triple they G have it for both and, teams. No, no I, I get that you don't know if they didn't have it ready for Kovalev, ever. You don't know that. Like you just like the, these are to me, they're strong assertions, and I get the suspicion that maybe something wasn't right. Okay, I get all that. There's just no smoking gun Gee, proof. You've been this, smoking that, was, that ganja or whatever, bro. That's all fine and dandy, but <laughs> this was not what people think it is. Okay, it was something totally different. And that's fine because they have an agenda with this guy. It will play out. But I'm telling you, that was a non-effort by Mr. Kovalev. And, and, and also on top of that, you got many fighters who you haven't heard nobody in the boxing world speak of fixes and fights, fights being thrown. You got all sorts of boxers bro, coming bro, up bro, speaking about this. opening a Pandora's box, bro. Like, I, I'm be open. right now. No, 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 hold on. Like, what's going to start? I'm going to tell you what's going to start happening, bro. Now, now, now Canelo fans, you're going to look at some other fights. you be like, oh, that fight was fucking fixed. And that dude just threw the fight. Okay, like, especially when, like, dude, 
I seen, bro, like that Danny Green fight in Australia when the guy threw the fight, bro. I know what it looks like. This, I, I just gotta be honest, and I, 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 and I respect you saying you you watch boxing for a long time. I guess I gotta pull out that card too, bro. I've been watching. Look, boxing. Rocky yeah. feeling through the fight too, man. The guy he got hit with a body shot. He took a knee and looked over his corner, like, "Hey, is this is this where I go down? And should I should I take the count?" And yeah, nah. he took the count. He took Rocky the count. Is a trash, trash yeah. fight. Bro. But but listen. If you're going to go out, go out fighting, okay? He took a couple of shots and took a knee. He Look, was supposed to be a champion. What is this? Everybody that this guy fight, there are conditions for him to fight under. If it's not that, he don't fight them. And then you have to be 30-plus. I think Canelo is 29. He don't fight people his own age. He fight people four, okay. five, six but, years older than him. But here's my thing, right? Like, does it matter talking to what the age is if supposedly they're throwing the, all the fights anyway? So if you fought a dude that's 29. All the fighters that he's avoided are his age or, or, or even younger. I'm just trying to reach a point where, like, at what point can Canelo win a fight and there's, no, like, we're not saying the fight was thrown. When they stop, like, well, if you go back to his history and you, you see all the doping he's doing and everything, he was juiced to the gills for this. Uh, okay, look, look, let me he tell was you, to the gills. How are you gonna put on a, the let weight, me ask you this. Two weight classes? Let me ask you this. Let me, like let, 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 let me, let me be honest. They didn't have the, they didn't have the VADA testing and all of that. This guy is a fraud, man. You can support him all you want to, but I'm saying, I'm this no, no, is no, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, let, chill. Look, let me say this. What are you guys saying? So why would he have to juice himself if they're going to throw the fight anyway, guys? Like, what's the point of him juicing if they're going to throw the fight? He's for edge, man. Okay, but he why would he... for edge. Why That's would, eating. Why would somebody juice if they're going to throw the fight anyway? You can, you got to honestly answer that question. Why why would you throw the fight if you're ju like Why would he have to juice if you're going to throw the fight, guys? Why would... If, if, not, if he can win the fight, why would he have hydration clauses? Why would he? That's my point. If you're gonna, th the, the dude's gonna throw the fight for you anyway. But he did it. How would you do all that, dude? Just like he juiced, and just like oh, Canelo. Can, just my just like oh, he, he he put his hands down and said, "Hit me right here." Bro. And when he got hit, he went down, and the ref waved it off. He's a champion. The ref didn't count one time. The ref there didn't give one. Reason. He didn't say one, two, and then say, "Oh." He, as soon as the guy went down, he pushed Canelo out of the way. You know I got you here, bro. Why would you choose for a fight that they're going to throw for you anyway? For the Why knockout. For the knockout. For what? He's going to throw the fight. He's going to put himself in position for you to knock him out anyway. For the knockout. So he can no, look bro, the part. No, no, no. So he can look the part. Okay, so so just to look the part, like that's it, like absolutely, he can look the part without the juice. Absolutely. Why? Why, do, why does AJ go in the gym and lift all them weights and everything? He want to look the part. Nah, but well, we're just gonna have to agree to this. Well, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Right. But every bit of strength, strength that you feel for your point, why can't I feel it for mine? You can feel See, all you want. That's, that's I mean, the whole that's point, right there. Bit. And the thing about it is, eventually, it'll come to light. It will. Because the truth, crushed to the earth, will rise again. Okay? That's real talk for you. I now, say, you will I see. say something here, man. I don't, yeah, right, I, right. I don't think that. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> I don't think the fight is fixed. I never said I thought the fight was fixed. What I'm saying is that this, these are the reasons why people believe it. And... um. And and I was just I, commenting on your comparison to the to the Marquez situation with Pacquiao I, I, I because don't my it's not wife. it's not. I'll say it again. Say it again. The reason I said that was we can't just assert, oh, well, he didn't knock out a smaller guy, so why would he knock out a big guy? Therefore, he it must have been a fix. I just I don't think that math equates necessarily. Okay, okay, bigger was, man, bigger man landed. Big punches on Pacquiao did not knock the dude out, but all the times he got knocked out were in lower weight classes. But okay. that was never that was never my equation, though. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, it. but what I'm saying is this: I don't think it was fixed. I think that the game plan was all fucked up. Uh, Kovalev's ex explanation as to why he didn't throw any hard shots or sit down on any of his shots was ridiculous. I mean, really, you cannot go in there and fight guys like John Pascal, Elater Alvarez, Andre Ward. And say, you know what? Now all of a sudden, I'm scared of this this little middleweight coming up. 
to me, that doesn't that just doesn't sound good. I don't know. Maybe if it was an English thing, a language thing, whatever. That don't sound good to me. I mean, there should there should be no fear, really. There should be no fear in Kovalev. The only the only other explanation is that the guy is just completely shot at this point and he can't take fucking punches anymore. And he needs to just retire, man. Really, he needs to just hang him up. But I wanted to, I just wanted to say it again. The difference for me from from the way I looked at it from com using the Marquez comparison is that at least you could see Marquez landing hard head fucking knocking knocking his head smooth back with hard shots. Like you could see it you could almost see it coming and this one just came out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere. That's why I don't like that comparison, but that's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But for the record, I don't think the fight is fixed. Look, look, look. I, I wouldn't rule out a fix in the sport of boxing, bro, cuz it is the sport of boxing. Okay, what I'm saying is I just don't see it. I, I don't see what a, lot, what a lot of dudes out there are saying. OK, I just I don't see that. Let okay? me take you back to another fight of his. Do you remember the beating he put on Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Yes. Do you remember when Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. got knocked out? So are you saying that just because he didn't knock out Chavez Jr., it has to be that that that, that this was a fix? No, what I'm trying to tell you is that Julio Cesar Chavez got knocked out by a legitimate 168-pounder. Legitimate. Yes. Okay? Now, this kid, Alvarez, is not a knockout puncher. He's a solid puncher. He's not a knockout puncher. He knocked out Amir Khan, okay, who's much smaller than he is. Okay? He knocked him out. Hit him on the chin. It was gone. Okay? Amir Khan can't take punches anyway. However, against quality opposition, he doesn't knock people out. Now you're going to tell me he's going to jump up two weight classes and knock out a guy like Kovalev. No, that doesn't, it doesn't equate, man. It doesn't. It doesn't. He doesn't always, he's not going to all of a sudden find a knockout punch. And if the man drops his hands, it only take a second if you drop his hands to let him hit him and he re he reacts in a certain kind of way, the fight's going to be over. Okay, so if I understand correctly, we should just let fighters juice because they do it for the look anyway, okay? He uh, did it, it for the look. He didn't have an ounce of fat well, on I him, mean, but he moved up that, two look, weight classes. Let me tell you, I got to be honest. That's a convenient response to my question. Like, it's a convenient response. Like, you know, like all now it's about that. So we can't, so they're just doing it for the look. Right, let, some like, are, some are. So we should just, just if, if you're not a knockout puncher, it's not going to help you with your punching power. It's not. Okay, um, absolutely, like, absolutely. Okay, but but here's my thing, bro. Like like, if the fight's going to be thrown anyway, and he's going to put on a show and get knocked out, then there's no reason to buy out the judges and Jews and, and cheat that way and and get the ref on his side to get have the ref. You know, like not everything could be going on. You know, like it, it's one or the other, in my opinion. You know, so now it's, dude, a fix could be possible in fights that we've seen, okay, that we didn't even suspect of a fix. Okay, so fixing could happen in boxing, right? So I, I'm not saying, hey, rule it out completely. I'm not saying don't be suspicious of it. What I'm saying is I, I just don't think that this was a setup to, for, for a knockout. I don't think they, they practiced this in the back somehow or if somebody went up to Kovalev and said, hey, in the 11th, you're going to go down. Let him hit you with a big right hand because we're going to pay you this much. The, the money's guaranteed anyway. But, but the deal. Works, you can get, like if he knocks Canelo out, he's going to get the money anyway. But like, it's the deals. It's the back end deals that leave the incentive to not take this victory. The deals on the back end were greater for this dude to not win the fight, and that's ridiculous to even throw any deal on that. The only thing that should have been thrown in in the clause was a rematch clause. Now all of a sudden, Kovalev, if you lose, we have all this money set aside for you. That's ridiculous. I, I agree with all that, but that's been going on in boxing forever, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like uh, all the big name fighters have had clauses and, uh, for the other opponent and stuff like that, you know. What I mean that, that that's not evidence of a fight being fixed. It's, that's all I'm saying. You know, like, this isn't evidence, guys. Like if you could find me uh, a transcript or, or some, just some like a smoking gun. If not, then we're gonna you want somebody to come out and say, "Yeah, D style, we fixed this fight." Like that's gonna happen. 
Well, I, I've seen fights where the dude doesn't even get hit and goes down, and he's acting knocked out. Well, we actually, hey, let's not forget what we saw with Joshua Claudi and Pacquiao. Remember that fight? People were suspicious. A few years later, he came out when he was all the way over back in his home, his home country in Africa, and said that the fight was fixed. <laughs> so, I mean, he, he I mean, that's, that's really all we have, you know. He said he had diarrhea, and he said, but I'll tell you what he didn't do. He, he, he didn't, like, put on a show and let Pacquiao knock him out. And because that's a stretch. People are going to see when it's an, obviously not a knockout, okay, and, and they're going to, you know, you know, just call it out for what it is. With so, Kovalev doing that, he probably got an even bigger bonus under the table. Right? He's going down Hit that right like button. button. Hit that like button. You guys got to throw that like button. Okay. All right. But it's just me, man. Let me tell you something. I've been on it for years. I'll always tell people what I think. You know what I mean? And what I respect about you guys, you, you guys, should. I mean, what do you think? You know what I mean? You should. That's, that, yeah. it, I respect that. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't forget the zone. We can't leave without talking about the zone. And that's what I wanted to 